Who's ready for a little bit of news? Kira is. Kira is. And hands are raised. Let's get into it. Talk about, flying, talk about flying under the radar. Three stacks <laughs> is back, baby. <laughs> Who would have thought it? Now, before everybody gets all up and uproar, Andre 3000 is dropping a new album this Friday. Lord, you're talking about under the radar. He's been playing. Mm -hmm. He's the he's the he's what I like to call the bard of hip hop. That's what he is. Uh, there he is. There it is. Agreed. <laughs> he's the bard of hip hop because if you've been paying attention with Andre 3000 from Outcast has been doing, he's actually been traveling the world playing the flute and just mm -hmm. doing all types. Just being Andre. And then, <laughs> this man been doing side quests. Had this been anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 he's been doing side quests. <laughs> had this been been anybody else, we would have been like, "What is wrong with this dude?" But it's three thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This but we talking about the same so cat that wore football pads and fuzzy pants, mm -hmm. and it so made it look <laughs> fashionable because mm -hmm. no one else was going to touch that. Right. <laughs> so the new album is called New Blue Sun. Uh, it's no bars. <laughs> he tells he's like, there's no bars on the album. He said it started out as a rap album, but ended up not being the rap album. To far I showed up for the right part of the conversation. Continue. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nerd. I've never met a bigger outcast fan than myself. <laughs> and here it is. Here comes Tafari. Uh, I mean, yeah, the it's 2006. This is the last thing we got. <laughs> now, if wow. you count class of 3000. Well, yeah. I mean, why if he's not dropping bars on some like doing some kind of appearance on somebody's album, which is just like leave them wanting more. Uh mm -hmm. if if that was a person, it's it's him. Uh so but it's it's just him playing his flute, playing songs with the flute with some of the longest names for titles. Mm -hmm. Are we talking Prince level titles? Just uh, kind of more. Like Longer. Oh, longer. 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 Sentences. It just, just not even like anime titles. You know? Short, short <laughs> stories. Short yeah, stories. Short stories. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Yeah, yeah, damn damn here. Here. Damn I here. mean, the, yeah, you're gonna be creative. He said, "I started out, I started out doing raps, and this is how we got here." I was like, is it "Cool." Like, look, said, I swear, I really wanted to make a rap album, but this is literally the way the wind blew me this time. That's mm -hmm. just an example. Yeah. That boy ain't even want to make no goddamn rap album. He was happy with that flute for what, 10 years plus? Hey, he went traveling the I world. Like, we we, 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 we traveling the world with the flute. It's, it's 3,000. He gave Killer Mike and Kanye some features every now and then. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah, true. What's up, G Black? It does. Yeah, his, his track list. But it's it's three thousand, and we gonna be in there getting it anyway. Because he it's... said there's no lyrics, but I guarantee he's speaking on one of them. He he came back. Right? 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 He came back from Japan and wrote track list and haikus. Like, <laughs> see, yo, that video they show. I'm like, <laughs> is that three stacks in Japan? Mm -hmm. What anime did I? And get? they knew who exactly <laughs> who he was. Just yeah. And he I'm was just to, that's when it, that's when the whole bard of hip hop started up. It was just like man popped up like a wild man. Pokemon, just like he just there and he just kept moving. You have to man, he is moving one hand the, like he just gave a side quest off of somebody. <laughs> he is one of the smartest artists out here because he still has an impact, but that man flies high enough that you notice he's there, but low enough he doesn't bring a lot of attention and he cruises. But when mm -hmm. he pops up, he makes an impact in every single thing he does. And, that's and a I wish a lot of artists would take hint from that because some of these bullshit artists, y'all just need to shut the hell even, up. He's even stated that, like, you know, a lot of artists, he's, it's it's not a longevity. It, for certain artists, it can be longevity. You know, mm -hmm. he can still drop something. Mm -hmm. You know, Nas can still drop something, still continues to do so, and, it, and it's still relevant. But even not even 3000 is like it, these, there are certain artists like these artists you're seeing now mm -hmm. i guarantee you give it five years it's give like, it five if that buster rhymes has always said it best he said you had your spotlight but you didn't know when to bow out gracefully i was like and he was mm -hmm. talking to a certain rapper at the time 
I saw the pinky. I saw the pinky. Even even Bow Wow was saying people got to work on their stage presence, and people laugh, but look at that arena. They're not wrong. These jokers, mm-hmm. they don't have any stamina when it comes to creating everything. It all sounds the same. Yep. But that's because they don't create their own stuff. They're constantly every. I I implore you to look at who's writing for these people. If it's I not a ghostwriter, it's much, somebody else entirely. I was say, how much you want better ch- um, chat GPT or whatever that shit is? <laughs> Before we knew about it, he was writing for the rap. The ghostwriter has dyslexia. That's <laughs> oh, well. that, that, I've, seen, I've seen performances on stage, and I'm just like, you how know, much I think it is? Ooh, I've seen one. Beyonce pregnant mm-hmm. on stage mm-hmm. and give a much better performance. Mm-hmm. Listen. Mm-hmm. Listen, oh, you probably look at it. We all saw her fall on stage and do a better performance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We've seen Rihanna do the same. So mm-hmm. therefore, that America, thank you for coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I gotta go hide from the beehive now. Mm. He said, Russell that's Simmons, right. ladies and gentlemen, think of the time. God bless the good night. Black says the problem is no one is writing it all. That's true. It's bad. Well, like like Three Stack said, there, there's no there there's a lack of artistry. There's a lack of creativity. I mean, this man went on the Kanye track. It was better than Kanye had his own song, <laughs> and Kanye refused to and Kanye refused to release it. What up, fam? I'm not putting that on there. I'm like I'm not putting that on there. I'm like, why? Um, I mean, it's, it's just it's, like. It, I mean, it, it's it's crazy that you know everybody's like, but it's a fluke. But I said, yeah, we're all going to listen to it though. Everybody go sense. listen. To, everybody's going to listen to it at least yeah. one to see what's about. Be entertained. When yeah. he said he played it at with at with at Tyler the Creator's house, and he was, Tyler the Creator was like, yeah, I collect these travel suitcases and was trying to figure out what I was trying to do with it. Mm-hmm. Only only for him, it's like I'm hearing this song and I'm like, I figured it out. This man is still making shit happen. This this man is inspiring other people. Just like I said, this man is literally old boy from Kung Fu Legend Continues. He he literally has the flute on his back. He's just missing the hat. That that and the gourd that you drink out of. Yeah, that's about uh, it. Just, just goes, just goes a goat skin and goes satchel of, of of wine or ale or something. I didn't think that. <laughs> I come here, and then you turn around once again. Jim Gordon and Batman. You just like, where did he go? I never said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.